What's going on guys? This is Mr. Affleck 9916 and welcome back to the MLB 17 the show, Road to the Show, episode 13. It's been a long hiatus, but we are finally back. I had finals week last week and uh, I was pretty busy over the weekend and uh, you know, getting back from college, I just had to like redo my room, kind of organize everything, set everything up. I had a lot of unpacking to do, so it took me a couple days. Finals went well though, so all the studying instead of making YouTube videos, I think, paid off. But uh, now that it's summer break, you guys know what's going to be coming a lot to the channel because I have a ton of free time for the next four months of my life, and I'm going to spend a lot of it, not all of it, but a lot of it, trying to get at least a video up every day. That's kind of what I'm going to try to aim for. Try to keep that going, except for my uh, my one week of vacation I'll be taking in June. But other than that. Do expect videos almost or near almost every day. It's going to be a good summer, a lot of good content coming, but I want to thank all you guys for tuning in again. I hope you guys are excited to have the series back. I know I am. I had to play a little bit the last game in this video. I actually just recently played uh, today because, as I mentioned, it had been a while since I had worked on YouTube, which means it had also been a while since I had even logged on to my PlayStation. I think yesterday I did like two Rocket League games, and that was it for the last two weeks, so... I actually did a refresher, I did a whole 9 inning game which I lost, but it kind of got me back in the groove a little bit and that way I was ready to play some MLB. All of this footage is from before finals week from like 2 or 3 weeks ago, so that's kind of all the updates with that. As you see, we are winning 2 to nothing here against Arkansas. We are getting pretty close to the All-Star break and I am by far in first place in the All-Star voting for left fielder here in the Texas League. So unless I get injured or unless like, I don't know, I go 0 for 60 in my last, you know, whatever at bats I have until the All-Star game, I don't see any way that I don't make it because I am first, second in the league in batting average. I'm like fourth or fifth in home runs, first in RBIs, first in singles. I am, you know, all over the top of the leaderboards in almost every category. Unfortunately, I got a strikeout right there. We don't want to be first in that category. But in most of the good categories, I'm uh, ranking pretty high up. Uh, one that I'm not is fielding. I have to go to the right side here, and as you see, I make a mistake. Just not taking a good path to the ball. Luckily, the runner doesn't advance past second, but th that is something I still got to work on, taking good paths to the ball. Maybe that's why they're keeping me in double-A, because at this point, I'm starting to wonder, when is that call-up to the major leagues going to happen? I'm playing so well. I'm among the league leaders and everything, and I'm still down here in lousy double-A. Maybe they're waiting for the All-Star break. Maybe they're just waiting for me to get my fielding a little bit better, because they don't want me on the Los Angeles Dodgers fielding the way I am. That being said, you could definitely call me up to triple-A. I don't know why the heck they haven't done that yet, but whatever. We're going to line this one to center field. That's going to fall for a base hit. So we get ourselves yet another hit here in this fourth inning. Already leading 4 to nothing. We have a chance to score some more runs now. As you see, it ends up 5 nothing, and I end up advancing. And then this ball gets into the gap, and that's going to let me score. This one's actually going to be off the wall, and they end up getting, I think, multiple runs on that at bat. So we lead 8 to nothing now, and it's only in the third inning. So just dominating early on this game. I'm going to get a round ball. Red's going to be the shortstop. He steps on second for one. And a first, a double play. They are playing double play depth. If it wasn't for that, it would have been a base hit. Oh, well, we go to the bottom of the fourth. We are up now 10 to nothing. My team's just killing it. I get a fly ball to my right and way back. I go on a warning track, make the catch. Good job getting under the baseball right there. I have been doing a little bit better job of that on fielding. Even though a lot of games that I played today, you'll see in the next couple episodes, uh, I was able to catch. I don't think I made any errors, to be honest, which is good. We get another base hit here, though, into the right side. So, multi-hit game. It's 12 to nothing here in the seventh inning. I'm going to hit this one on the ground, and I ground into my second double play, double play. So, we get multiple hits, but we also hit into multiple double plays in this game. Obviously, uh, I think we're going to win this one. It's 12 to nothing here, and I'm going to make a catch to my right. And that, guys, is going to be it for this game for us. We're going to get the win. Another win for the Tulsa Drillers. We continue to play pretty well. We are still in first place, not by a ton. As you see, I'm two for five with two singles. So now something big. We have a special visitor. The coach is going to introduce him. Well, he's not here, but he says, we got a top teacher of the game who's going to join us for a few days. He's been sent by the Dodgers to take a close look at you in workouts as well as a few games, and he'll be reporting back, so it's a good time to bring it, boys. Roving instructor boost activated two times points. So this is going to be pretty big news because if I play good, maybe, 
maybe that call up will finally happen we're going to do some base ceiling training we need 2400 points for the gold 1600 points for the silver and just 800 for the bronze i gotta say this base running training was uh, a little bit harder than you know i anticipated because they really do make a lot of pick off attempts you see i get caught stealing on my first attempt there then on my second one see you just gotta wait for him to start his motion and uh, it really tests your reflexes it really tests your skills you gotta pay attention you gotta give it your undivided attention two chances left i'm in the bronze they're gonna try to pick me off i get back in time so you gain 25 points every time they try to pick you off and you know what hey i say bring on the pickoff attempts because i'll just keep taking those 25 points that's only gonna make it um a little bit easier for me still two chances left though waiting for him to finally throw it and he finally does and we are going to get in safe on this one so there's 260 points and we need just Ah, uh, we need 2400 for the gold, so unfortunately, we don't have enough to get close to that, but we are going to finish this training session off with a successful stolen base, and we end up around 2200, so just short of the gold medal, but we do get 400 training points for that silver medal. That is huge, getting a silver medal and 400 training points, so exactly 2200 is what we finish up with in terms of our number of points, so heading in, guys, to our next series we're going to be playing against the springfield cardinals they're 29 and 31 we're 33 and 27 so we're not a great team but we are a good team i'd say a solidly good team that could contend for this double a championship hopefully i'm up in the majors by the time that happens the way i'm playing now and the way our depth chart is with you know no good left fielders they gotta call me up sometime soon this is getting a little ridiculous there's that two times boost, so I get 10 points on that one. Next at bat, I'm going to hit a fly ball to left field. This one's going to go back, but unfortunately, the left fielder goes back and makes the catch. That was kind of the story of this game. I was getting a lot of pitches to hit, and I was just hitting fly balls. I wasn't striking out, wasn't having bad at bats, but unfortunately, I just kept flying out. Fly ball, this one's going to be uh, the other side. I'm on the other side of this one. I make the catch. There's 16 training points. That two times boost is kind of nice. I get like 84 training points in this. We have 484 now he can increase a ton of things contact versus righty and lefty power versus righty trying to really amp up that power i want to become more of a power hitter you guys know that i haven't hit, i'm not like a huge home run smasher yet this year but i have had a decent amount so we kind of train a whole bunch of things and we'll come into my last game not in the way we normally come into games it's going to be as a pinch hitter so coming off the bench here late in the game with a chance to get something done here in the bottom of the eighth Six to five, runner on first. First pitch to me, and I'm going to line it left field for a base hit. Unfortunately, guys, that's going to be all the batting opportunities we have in this game because I think they took me out after that. And I wish we wouldn't have come in as a pinch hitter because a two times bonus, if I could have played the whole game, it would have been more points. But that's going to be it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. For now, we'll see you next time. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm Mr. Like 9916 See you tomorrow. Peace.